you would miss it. So what the Vera Rubin telescope will do is time sample, that's the term, the official term, time sample the phenomenon, not on a sequence of days, but hours and even minutes. So that if something varies on those shorter time scales, it'll get captured for the first time ever. Well, suppose a star got brighter once every 24 hours. The sky is huge. It is huge. Most telescopes see tiny fractions of the night sky. For example, the Hubble telescope sees a tiny fraction of the area of the full moon on the sky, the tiniest fraction. If you were to take a picture with the Hubble telescope of an area of the sky the size of the full moon, it is individual exposures linked together, mosaic until you recover the full area you're interested in. 